the new general catalog of nebulin clusters compiled by John Dreyer. There are 7,840 objects in this catalog. NGC 55 is 6 million light years distance and spans 50,000 light years. Galaxy. NGC 104 is the second brightest globular cluster next to Omega Centauri. It's uh, 13,000 light years away and 120 light years across. NGC 205, also called M110, is a satellite galaxy of the Andromeda Galaxy. NGC 246 is a planetary nebula coming off of a dying star. It's evolving. NGC 253 is 10 million light years away, 70,000 light years across. It's the largest member of the sculptor group of galaxies. NGC 265 is another globular cluster orbiting our Milky Way galaxy. The next one is a perfect example of how astronomers color different pictures to be different, uh, represent different things. This is NGC 281. It's 10,000 light years away and spans over 80 light years. Um, the second picture is di colored differently and the third picture is zoomed in closer with the fourth picture just the dark nebula in the center. NGC 290 stellar jewel box is about 200,000 light years distant in the small cloud of Magellan. It spans about 65 light years. NGC 300 in the sculptor group of galaxies is 6 million light years distance. 346 a star cluster in the small Magellanic cloud 210,000 light years away 200 light years across. It's only 4 million years young and some of the stars are not yet burning hydrogen in their cores. Next to the round globular cluster you see 362, the small cloud of Magellan. It's a dwarf galaxy orbiting the Milky Way galaxy. Spans 15,000 light years and 210,000 light years away. NGC 520 is called an irregular galaxy for obvious reasons. The star cluster is only 5 million years old, spans 200 light years. It's called NGC 602 in the small Magellanic Cloud, which is M33. It's 200,000 light years away. This young star cluster is 100 times the size of our Orion Nebula, which is closer by. It's called NGC 604. It's 6 million light years away in the spiral galaxy M33. Spiral Galaxy NGC 772, also called ARP 78, 100 million light years away, 100,000 light years across. Double Star Cluster in Perseus, 7,000 light years away, NGC 869 is at the top right, and NGC 884, all stars are younger and hotter than our Sun. 891 spans 100,000 light years, 30 million light years away. Galaxy Collision 300 million years ago produced NGC 922, spans 75,000 light years, 150 million light years away. NGC 1055, 60 million light years away, spans 100,000 light years. NGC 1075, 55 million light years away, spans 80,000 light years, a barred spiral, but there are no bars to drink in there. NGC 1097, 45 million light years away. NGC New General Catalog 1232. NGC 1275 spans 100,000 light years and lies about 230 million light years away. NGC 1300, barred spiral with no liquor, 70 million light years away, spans over 100,000 light years. NGC 1309, obviously a spiral galaxy, 100 million light years away, 30,000 light years in diameter. Another barred spiral, NGC 1313, spans 10,000 light years, 14 million light years away. 
100 million years ago these two galaxies collided NGC 1317 the little one and NGC 1316 the big one NGC 1333 only a thousand light years away contains hundreds of stars less than a million years old still 1313 in Perseus three degrees field of view wide it's uh, 50 light years across 1365, 200,000 light years across, 60 million light years away. Irregular galaxy, NGC 1427. Remember the Pleiades, M45? This is NGC 1435, it surrounds one of the stars. NGC 1499, the California Nebula, 1,500 light years away, 100 light years long. Another much wider angle view of the California Nebula, also with uh, M45, the Pleiades, over there on the right. Here, NGC 1512 is a perfect example of how astronomers combine different colors through different filters to give you the final picture. 1532 spans 100,000 light years, 50 million light years away. 1331, the little one, is colliding with it. NGC 1555 and 54, the T towery variable star, only a few million years old. Uh, 400 light years away, the image spans 4 light years. 1569, a starburst galaxy, lots of star formations, dwarf a regular galaxy, spans 8,000 light years, 11 million light years away. Reflection Nebula 1579, 3 light years across and 2,000 light years away. NGC 1672, 75,000 light years across, 60 million light years away. NGC 1705, just across the street from my house, which is 1706 West University, is an irregular galaxy. Gas cloud NGC 1760. Star cluster NGC 1818 in the Large Magellanic Cloud formed only about 40 million years ago. NGC 1850 is a star cluster in the Large Magellanic Cloud. NGC 1893 is 12,000 light years away, 100 light years across open star cluster formed 4 million years ago. NGC 1931 is 10 light years across, uh, 10,000 light years away, called the Fly and the Spider. The spider is lower left IC 417. These are NGC 1973, 75, and 77. NGC 1999, south of Orion, 1,500 light years distance spans 10 light years. Dark Dust Cloud and re Bright Reflection Nebula, NGC 2024, called the Flame Nebula, 1,500 light years away. NGC 2070 is a bright star forming nebula in the Large Magellanic Cloud, which is a satellite to our own galaxy, a satellite galaxy. It's a uh, hundred, uh, one thousand light years in diameter. NGC 2158 and globular open star cluster and M35 uh, globular cluster. 
NGC 2170 is a large molecular cloud. This is a star forming region. It's 2,400 light years away. The small image is 18 light years across. The second larger image is 80 light years across. NGC 2174 is a bright emission nebula in Orion. They, we zoom in with on the second image and you see uh, the star forming regions. The next few images I'm going to slowly zoom in uh, on the Rosetta Nebula, NGC 2237 is the nebula. The star cluster at the center is 2244, distance 5,000 light years and 130 light years in diameter. It's in the constellation Monocertos. It's a, the mass of the nebula is estimated to be about 10,000 solar masses. They could make 10,000 stars in there and they are being created in there. The cluster of stars is visible in binoculars but you need a good telescope to see the nebula. Radiation from these young stars are heated by the surrounding gas to 7 million degrees Kelvin exciting the atoms in the nebula to cause them to emit radiation that produce the nebula that we see. Stellar winds from the group of hot O and B stars are exerting pressure on the interstellar cloud to cause compression, which forms more stars in the nebula, which is still going on. One of the last pictures here is uh, stop. Now we zoom back out and you can see NGC 22264, the Cone Nebula and the Fox Fur Nebula over there on the left. The uh, Cone Nebula is a hydrogen 2 alpha region that's uh, about 3,000 light years away and 7 light years long. The cone shape comes from a dark absorption nebula of cold hydrogen and dust in front of a faint emission nebula containing hydrogen, ionized hydrogen. The uh, last picture here is uh, zoomed in on the Fox Fur Nebula. This is the Fox Fur Nebula. You see there in the center his nose is pointing towards the left. 2327 is the seagull's head and 2177 is the wings, uh, 250 light years wide at a distance of 4,000 light years. We zoomed out, the seagull nebula spans 2 degrees, that's 4 moon diameters. Thor's helmet's down in the lower right. 2359 Thor's helmet's a wolf regnant star, not very stable, you can throw off all kinds of stuff, 30 light years across and 15,000 light years away. 2392 is another evolving star throwing off uh, mass. This is called the Eskimo Nebula. Spans only a third of a light year, 3,000 light years away. Pink star forming regions, NGC 2403, 10 million light years distance, 50,000 light years across. 2438 is an evolving planetary nebula, star shedding, 3,000 light years distance, 5 light years across. It lies in front of M. 46 open star cluster. 2440, all these planetary nebula are evolving stars. They call them planetary nebulas because in early crude telescopes they looked like planets. NGC 2442, 50 million light years away. It's been distorted by an encounter with a smaller galaxy. NGC 2467 is a star forming region. 2623, 250 million light years away, 50,000 light years in diameter, two galaxies are merging together. NGC 2683, 20 million light years distance, spiral galaxy. 2685 polar ring or helix galaxy, probably ring caused by another galaxy interaction. 2736 pencil nebula, 
It's a supernova shock wave moving a half a million kilometers per hour to the right. It's five light years long, 800 light years away. Supernova exploded 11,000 years ago. 2818 is another evolving star planetary nebula throwing off mass four light years across. Spiral Galaxy 2841, 46 million light years away, 150,000 light years in diameter. NGC 2903, 20 million light years away, 80,000 light years across. 3034 uh, galaxy has central black hole spinning. Magnetic fields throws plasma north and south out of the plane. Same kind of jets are coming out of the black hole in NGC 3079. 3132 is another planetary nebula of an evolving star throwing off mass. Spiral Galaxy NGC 3190 is the largest member of the Hicks and 44 group of galaxies, about uh, 75,000 light years in diameter. 3256 spans over 1,000 light years. It's part of the Hydra Centaurus supercluster of galaxies, which spans two constellations. NGC 3314 galaxies, two of them are colliding. It is violent out there. Spiral Galaxy NGC 3370 is 3372, the Carina Nebula, distance 7,500 light years, 300 light years wide. In the sky, it is larger than the full moon, but dimmer so you can't see it. This is one of our galaxy's largest star forming regions. This is still zooming in on the Great Nebula in Carina. This is also called the Keyhole Nebula, NGC 3372. Spiral Galaxy NGC 3521, 35 million light years away, 50,000 light years wide. This star forming region is extremely wide, 10 degrees wide. 20 full moons would fill the picture. NGC 3576, 603, 766, 3582. Bright stars have formed in this star forming nebula just within the past few million years. Only two million years ago, NGC 3603 formed all these stars. It's a mere 20,000 light years away. The image spans about 17 light years. Known as the Leo triplet, these three galaxies are interacting with each other. NGC 3628 is the middle, M65 bottom edge, M66 to the left. The tidal tail is three hundred thousand light years long. It's uh, warped the galaxy. NGC 4038 and 39 are called the antenna. There are two galaxies colliding. They're 60 million light years away. This, is, uh, this spans about uh, half a million light years. 4216 is 40 million light years away, 100,000 light years across. See it eating that very, very faint star stream? It's cannibalizing it. NGC 4258 is also called M106, 30,000 light years across and 21 million light years away. Also, here it is later on in uh, infrared and x rays. NGC 4372 is known as the Dark Doodad Nebula. NGC 4438 and 35 are also known as the Eyes. 
They're 50 million light years away and 100,000 light years apart. They're interacting with each other. NGC 4449 is 12 million light years away and a very, very small 200,000 light years across. Here we zoom on into it. Same thing. NGC 4476 is uh, also called M87. It's an elliptical galaxy, which is why I've included it here. It's a little different than a spiral. It's 120,000 light years in diameter and 50 million light years away. NGC 4565, 40 million light years away, spans 100,000 light years. You can see this one in a small telescope. NGC 4631 is called the Whale Galaxy. It's 25 million light years away. NGC 4651 is called the Umbrella Galaxy, another spiral galaxy. 35 million light years away, 50,000 light years across. NGC 4676, about 300 million light years away, are probably members of the Coma Cluster. They're interacting. NGC 4755 is a young open star cluster, only 10 million years old, and it spans about uh, 20 light years. It's 6,000 light years away. Spiral galaxy NGC 4911 is in the coma cluster of galaxies. NGC 4921 is about 320 million light years away, quite a ways, a spiral galaxy. NGC 4945 is the same size as our home Milky Way galaxy. It's 13 million light years away, 16 times further away than the Andromeda galaxy. NGC 5033, 40 million light years away. Arms are span 100,000 light years, very similar to the Milky Way. NGC 5055 is the same as Messier 63. 25 million light years away, 100,000 light years across the Sunflower Galaxy. NGC 5067 is the Pelican, initi Pelican Emission Nebula in our own galaxy. NGC 5128 is called Centaurus A. It's a giant elliptical galaxy, the closest active galaxy. 11 million light years away, spans 60,000 light years. 5139 is Omega Centauri, the largest of the globular clusters orbiting our galaxy. There's 200 globular clusters. This one's close, 15,000 light years away, 150 light years across. Unlike other round planetary nebulas I've shown you, this one, NGC 5189, is a dying star, but it's a binary system, two stars close together, and they're spinning around each other with the axis is precessing, which really throws stuff out in all directions. It spans three light years and is 3,000 light years away. 5194 is also called M51, 60,000 light years across, 51 million light years away. NGC 5584, 50,000 light years across, 72 million light years away, spiral galaxy. Draco group of galaxies, 5981, 82, and 85. Three galaxies, one's NGC 6050, about 450 million light years away, picture spans 150,000 light years. A star shedding mass, NGC 6164, spans about four light years and is 4,000 light years away. It's a hot O-type star, 40 times as mass as the sun's only four million years old. Now we zoom in a little bit more on the nebula. This is a star forming nebula. These dust lanes that I show in the last picture in the blue and the orange is uh, these dust lanes are maybe tens of light years long. Now we zoom way out from that last picture. NGC 6188 is about 4,000 light years away. This picture spans 300 light years, about two full degrees on the sky. NGC 6231 called the Dark Tower Nebula. It's about 5,000 light years away. Its image spans about 40 light years. It's in Scorpius. NGC 6302 is called the Butterfly Planetary Nebula. It's 4,000 light years away. 
NGC 6334 is 5,000 light years away. It's only a few, th few million years old. These next three images are all NGC 6357. It's a star forming region. Uh, it's only uh, 8,000 light years away in our own galaxy. The second image there spans about 50 light years across, and the very last image spans uh, 10 light years across as we're zooming in. NGC 6369 is called the Little Ghost Planetary Nebula, one light year across and 2,000 light years away. This view spans about a quarter of a degree, about half the diameter of the full moon. It's NGC 6384, 80 million light years away, spans uh, 150,000 light years, and then we zoom in on a closer upper of it. This is the heart of a globular cluster, NGC 6397, called G blue stragglers because they really shouldn't be stars there this young. NGC 6520. NGC 6523 is also called M8. It's the Lagoon Nebula, 100 light years across, 5,000 light years away. This image spans about 50 light years. It can be seen without a telescope. 6537 is the Red Spider Planetary Nebula. It's a white dwarf in a binary system. The winds are over a thousand kilometers per second, cause the hot gas and dust to collide and makes the atoms radiate. The Cat's Eye Nebula is so gorgeous, I'm going to show you four images of it. It's NGC 6543, distance to 3,000 light years. The outer halo of this is over five light years across. It's a sun-like star that's dying and evolving into a, another type of star, Red Giant. Well, no, it'll, it'll be, it's, it will become a white dwarf. NGC 6559 is a emission nebula of hydrogen, it's the red, the blue is a reflection nebula of dust, and we've got dark absorption line, uh, nebula. NGC 6720 is the same thing as M57, it's called the Ring Nebula in Lyra, it's a planetary nebula evolving star 4,000 light years away, it's 500 times the diameter of our entire solar system. NGC 4626 Corona Australis is 8 light years long and 500 light years away. Dark, uh, dark absorption nebula, dust cloud, and blue emission nebula. Planetary nebula NGC 6751. Globular star cluster orbits our galaxy, NGC 6752, 13,000 light years away. The frame spans 10 light years. The whole thing is 10 billion years old and there's 100,000 stars in it. NGC 6820 star cluster and 23 is the dark stick. NGC 6822 star cluster. NGC 6826 is Planetary Nebula. NGC 6872 and 70 is 400 light years across. That's four times the size of our Milky Way and it's 20, 200 million light years distant. This is a much wider field of view of some things you've already seen. Uh, the North American Nebula and the Pelican Nebula are in the upper left. The Butterfly Nebula and the Crescent Nebula in the lower right. Now we zoom in on the Crescent Nebula, NGC 6888. It's 25 light years across and 5,000 light years away. This also is a wolf regnant star that's shedding its outer envelope with a strong wind. 
NGC 4934 is a globular cluster orbiting our galaxy 50,000 light years away, spans 50 light years, 10 billion years old. 6946 called the Fireworks Galaxy, 10 million light years away, 40,000 light years across. NGC 6960 is called the Witch's Broom Nebula. It's part of a supernova remnant, a shock wave. Uh, it's, it's the west end of the Veil Nebula. It's about uh, 1,400 light years away. It spans over three times the angular size of the full moon. NGC 6992, the Veil Nebula, part of the Cygnus Loop, seven and a half thousand years ago was a supernova. On the left is NGC 7000, the North American Nebula, and on the right is the Pelican Nebula 5070. The uh, about a hundred. 1,500 light years away. It spans about 100 light years and on the sky this is a full s four degrees wide. That's eight times the size of the full moon. This is the same thing as the previous three images but this is in the infrared showing uh, more dust. Sure looks a lot different doesn't it? This is NGC 7008, the Fetus Nebula is a planetary nebula. It's about uh, a one light year across and 3,000 light years away. NGC 7023 in these three images here is 1,300 light years away. It's called the Iris Nebula. It's a massive young star surrounded by dusty material. It's still forming. The last image is about six light years across. This image spans almost a full degree on the sky. On the right is open star cluster 7142, 6,000 light years away. On the left is star cluster NGC 7129, 3,000 light years away, only a million years old. The view spans about 40 light years. These next six images are of the Helix Nebula, NGC 7293. It's only 700 light years away. whole thing is about two light years in diameter. There's a central white dwarf which has evolved from another star and has thrown off all this material. The zoom in part on the inner edge of it, you see these uh, the shock waves and the wind blowing its previously expelled dust into balls. These are called Stefan's Quintet. 300 million light years away, the yellow galaxies are interacting with each other. The blue one is only 40 million light years dif distance. It's much closer. NGC 7380, the Wizard Nebula, 8,000 light years away, spans about 100 light years. It's a half a degree wide on the sky. Spiral Galaxy NGC 7497 in back of a dark dust cloud. The dust cloud is only a thousand light years away. It spans about a one degree on our sky. Start with a wide angle view here. We're going to zoom in on the bubble nebula. It's NGC 7635. It's the bright orange region right here. We zoom into the next, next picture is a one and a half degrees wide. To the upper left of the bubble nebula, you see Messier 52. It's uh, 25 light years across and 5,000 light years away. The bubble nebula itself is 10 light years wide and only 11,000 light years away. It, it's being created by a very, very hot, huge O-type star, 45 times the mass of the sun, throwing off all kinds of material.
Finally, the last entry I have in the New Galactic Catalog is 7822. It's also called Shapless 171. It's a star-forming region some 3,000 light years away, fairly close by in our own Milky Way galaxy. This area spans about 20 light years.